Well, good afternoon, and here is your friend and pastor Hayton again to sit down with you for a few minutes on this Wednesday of life. I was reading in the Bible yesterday over in the First Chronicles, chapter 21, where Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. And then we know that David spoke to Joab and to other leaders of the people and said, just go out and take a census and let's see just how many people we have. Well, I know that uh, that happened because it says down in verse 7 of chapter 21 of First Chronicles, God was displeased with this thing. Therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. Now I'm not just real sure. I'm sure there are some Bible scholars that could tell you why it is that God did not want a census of Israel, why it is that David went against the direct command of God to number Israel. And I, I can't tell you that. And I went back to it today after reading it yesterday because I was fascinated and I was wondering just why is it that it was such a great wrong to make a census of the people. Well, like I can say, I can't tell you that, but I do believe that we live in a day where church membership is so important. Building a church is probably the objective of every pastor. You've seen how many people he can cram into the sanctuary. And there is a great deal of emphasis upon numbers today. And it's all right. Numbers indicate that we are reaching people and and it does indicate that we are ministering to people. But I believe that perhaps God is sometimes displeased at the extent that we do to get people to come to church, to get people to become a part of the church. Many churches have become so liberal that it's really more difficult to join a country club than it is to join their church. They've lowered the bar. There's not much of a standard. There's not much criteria to meet. If you're willing to be a warm body, to warm a pew when it's convenient for you, well, they're glad to take you in. Why? Because it's all about numbers. Well, it's been years and years since I took the Sunday school register down off the wall in the places that I've pastored. Uh, I know back when a particular church, the church was growing, we would see new people coming in, building was filling up, I'd go down in the basement to Sunday school class before worship, and first thing I'd see when I came up the basement steps was the Sunday school register. How many people were in Sunday school that day? And I don't care how many it was, I was always disappointed. It might be a record-breaking number, but I was always disappointed. And there were some, some times that my morale was so low because so few people came to Sunday school that day that I could hardly get up and preach. And I thought, I can't live this way. I've got to get over to the fact that uh, we, if numbers aren't all that terribly important. And it was about that time that I read something that changed my view completely. And it was how many you have in church is not nearly as important as what you did for those that were there. And so from then on, and that's been well over 25 years ago, over half my ministry ago that I've taken down the, the number registry and uh, just, I don't know, might find it back in the furnace room or something here. I don't remember what I did with it, but it came off the wall not too long after I came uh, because numbers to me is not that important. What we do for the people is what is important. And so, like I say, I think that if we lower our standard we make it easy for people to join the church. We make it easy for people to become a Christian. Uh, I think that sometimes that the emphasis is on the wrong thing. Well, that's just my thoughts today. I'm not numbers crazy. I'd like to have a full house every Sunday, but I'm more concerned about what I do for those that come than uh, I am about packing the house. Heavenly Father, bless us as we do your work. It's a difficult job sometimes. Lord, of course we want to see success in our labors, and often we measure that success by numbers. But Lord, may the emphasis not be on numbers, 
but may it be on genuine gospel ministry. Lord, bless us as we continue on down throughout life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.